Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frank. I'm doing good. I'm not so good though. I'm a little upset. Because if I knew you were wearing such a like absolutely awesome shirt, I would have also have worn a really absolutely awesome shirt. Looks like we, we made, made it. it. Look, Look how, how far we've, we've come, come, my baby. baby. They said I bet you'll never make it. But we Look at that. the sunlit dawn. Look at the sunlit dawn. Uh, Bro, that's not <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? But that not, that works, right? The sunlit well, the, dawn. What is it then? It's it's um hold on. Tell me it's not no, sunlit you're dawn. You're me up with all your like the dawn and dusk, which by the way, I don't know the difference between those two things. The dawn of the day is the start of it. Oh, dawn is di- uh, what's oh, so dusk is like at night. Dusk is at night. Um <laughs> I don't know why this is night. <laughs> What you just did. The night. Um, dawn, dawn, night. Okay, that's you putting the sun away. Yes, like the dawn of the sun, the dusk. Got it. Got Gets it, a little it. dusky. Yeah, that's. A, I honestly don't know. You so you don't know the lyrics, but you're going to shame me. No, I do. Me. I do. I do. I do know the lyrics, but you're fucking me with the with the. Oh, I'm definitely not doing sun, that. With oh. the sun stuff, it's fucking my head up. But. Uh, <laughs> They say nothing. They, they'll, they'll never, never make, make it. it. But but who? But look who's. Something. No. Fuck you. Now, now I have to look but it up. Just, uh, da, 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 so what's it called? Shania Twain. Um, Shania We're Twain. We're still together, still going strong. You still, still the one I want. You still the one I want. Do. All right, now I gotta look it up. Now I gotta. You're still the one. There's um, no sunlit dawn in that. I'm fucking. Um, uh, looks like we've made it. Look how far we've come, my baby. We ought to might have looked, took the long way. We knew we'd get there yeah, someday. someday. They, they said, said, I'll bet they'll, they'll never make it. But just look, look at us, son. No, no us, I know it's not sun. us holding on. Us holding on. Um, We're still together, still so going, going strong. strong. Yeah, I, honestly, it's though, talk about love. The, but the sun lit dawn, that's kind of not a bad I, lyric I, there. I, I mean. I guess you can you can but light like, a dawn it. like with the sun, but that's kind of I guess all that, of the dawns are sunlit. That's what I was gonna say. That's yeah. it's a bit uh, you know redundant. You know yeah. that's like saying like the wet water. Oh, can I can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. H- how do you feel about daylight savings time? You for that? Um, or I, you want to abolish it? Uh, first of all, abolish all the rules. Get rid of all of them. Which ones? You know. Oh, you're like an anarchist or whatever. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> um, no, I I don't. I never cared for it. Okay. But I'll tell you when I started, when I had fucking, when Ruby was born. You're because true. Miles is my stepson. I wasn't around when he was super, super young. But, bro, it what fuck. What the fuck does this have to do with daylight savings time? Because it fucks up kids. Like, it fucks up their sleep schedule and shit. Oh. Bro, Ruby woke up yesterday morning. I looked at the clock. It was 5.15. I was like, I, I, I said out loud and woke up Becca. Absolutely not. <laughs> she usually wakes up at 6.15. Well, it kind of varies, but... In that moment, there was no shot I was waking up with her at 5.15. Got it. Because she doesn't wake up with the sun. She wakes up when her baby body is like, I'm, I'm good on the I don't, sleep. I honestly don't know what wakes her up. Yeah. Legitimately don't know. She'll just wake up sometimes. But 5.15, too old. And then I think about it in March when we lose the hour. Uh, it, if she's like all fucked up and like she is waking up at like 5.40 and she wakes up and it's 4.40. Now, yeah. Oh, I'm, she's in a, she a big time trouble girl. Ew, don't say that to me. What the fuck was that? You <laughs> freak. That's what we say. No, but um, uh, 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 forget about the children. I'm talking about, we're talking about dusk and dawn, babe. Like, are, do, you, are you, do you like a sunny morning or do you like a... Like a I, I, don't, I don't mind either. You like a sunny night? Um, Not a yeah, sunny night, I kinda, but like, I kind of like a little sunny night. Like during the summer when it's like 8.30 out and it's night. And it's I still, mean, it's, it's uh, day. Yeah, we still got some sunlight. I like that I kind of like that. I but I like a it. sunny morning. It really all depends on the time of year because I don't want a sunny night during Christmas Eve. We should have reversed the fucking things. Like, because. No, you no, want no, the no, nights it, to be. You want the summer nights to be longer. Yeah. That's. Yeah, isn't it? They right. are long right now. Oh, it's the yeah. longest time of the year. No, no, no. For I, us. No, I honestly would rather the reverse because waking up early in the dark and it's cold out. 
fuck that, dude. No, I, I don't I don't mind it. It kind of helps ease Ew. you into the day because it's so cold Freezing out. Freezing cold in the dark? Hold on. First of all, let me ask you something. Do you sleep in a place that has four walls, insulation, and fucking heat? What do you have to worry about? You're not homeless. You're never going to be unless something really bad happens. <laughs> What do you What do you mean waking up in the freezing cold? What are you I'm sleeping in? I'm not saying in? waking up in the freezing cold. I'm saying waking up. At, I usually wake up around 6, 6.30. At that time, right? Because I'm so productive. I take a cold yeah, shower. Yeah. I you guys didn't minutes. see. I hope you guys. caught. Edit, edit my eye roll in there, please. <laughs> All right, but seriously, if you guys want to talk about my morning routine, I wake up at 3 a.m. Oh, shut the fuck up. And I Listen. work out for an hour. Then I read 100 pages of the dictionary right? yeah, yeah, yeah. and then I read 100 pages of the Spanish dictionary and then you because... read every single biblical or religious text known to man exactly. I you're go currently to ch- on the Quran I go to church every single what day what were you saying about that one the Quran yeah you were really upset don't about be- it hey <laughs> don't even fuck around <laughs> get us we don't touch religion <laughs> they'll get us no books none of the holy books yeah no we don't we don't yo I'm afraid of religion I don't like <laughs> you know those things that you get from bye bye uh, daylight savings time onto religion yeah now. yeah hold on you know the little things at, at funerals or wakes mass that, cards yeah yeah that yeah. has like the picture and it, and it says like you know let, let the sun be on your back and your face yeah, it's be a in prayer the wind. and like a picture yeah it's, you know what I'm saying it's like let the grass grow between yes, your toes yes Joey I know what you're referencing so those things kind of I don't like throwing them out I have them I'll, so I don't throw them out. They're yeah, just never. about. Yeah, I don't know. There are hundreds in my house. I just don't know where. But I want them to go away. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, I have them. I think you can do, like, a ceremonial thing. Uh, uh, what, uh, what, light it on fire? Yeah, I think you could. I think it's all about the meaning. No, no, no. See, th- that's a, I, I'm, a, I'm with you there, but I'm also the other end of the spectrum where I collect those things like fucking Pokemon cards. Oh, you like them? Not well, that I the like them. I know. Yeah, but no. Uh, but I'll like go to like my grandmother's and I'll be like, I'm gonna take seven, and there's no reason to. Wait, what are you talking? Oh, oh, you, you know take what I mean? Seven of her. I'll take seven of her, those cards with me, be, just to have like a bunch. Don't ask me why. You're gonna hand them out to clients. Like <laughs> in my head, I'm not kidding. In my head, it was like I'll have one for home, I'll have one for this room, one for the basement, one for to carry on. What me. the fuck? It's weird. And I, do you do that? Uh, I you, did when I was younger. You had cards all over the house. I I carried some with me when I was younger. Really? Yeah, I did. That's not. That's weird. Uh, 2007 was a big year for me. I lost two family members: grandmother and my uncle. And. Uh, you carried them around with you everywhere. I did. I carried them around everywhere. I put them in my baseball pants. In your baseball pants? Yeah, dude. You were playing baseball. You were in the outfield, and grandma's in your back pocket. First of all, I was a catcher. Well, whatever. You're behind the plate. Yeah. And grandma's in your back pocket. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, no, no, no. Let's be very clear about something. Yeah. I'm not saying it was a. <laughs> I was not saying it wasn't an attention-seeking move because looking back, it probably was. Uh huh. But I would. I don't I do I I don't defend it. That's crazy. You know, it is what it is. I'm just afraid of throwing them out because I feel like someone's watching me. Well, they're always watching. That's the point of the cards. Yeah. What I if guess. it's like Toy Story and like, you know, they come the the cards The cards come alive. come alive. That would be cool. So, yo, Harry Potter. Yeah, you know they how, like they have the paintings that are like alive. It would be cool if those cards the were card, alive. Well, they do. They have like the cards where it's like, "Oh, look, I'll be Dumbledore." And he looks away and he's back. He's like, "Oh, he must have gone somewhere." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I, I... I want one of those for, like, dead people, though. Like, eventually, in the future. Yeah, but that'd be kind of terrifying. There was actually an episode of Black Mirror about that. Do you remember the one? The It was called... The episode was called Black Museum. Ew, I... Oh, that was but, fucked. And there was one where they, they, had, they put the spirit in the teddy bear. Oh, yeah. And there was another one where they put it on a keychain, and it was, like, the guy being shocked. Yeah. Fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't... So I don't. If, if you could have the cards of your dead relatives, who are you carrying with you? Are you swapping them out? Like, well, no, I have like a bunch of random people. Yeah, in the last time I went to your apartment, yeah, which was a couple months ago at this point, yeah, since we no longer record there. Our friend Dylan's grandfather's <laughs> mask card was on your bar cart. Legitimately, have never <laughs> spoken to him. <laughs> But I had it, and I was like, I don't know what to do with this. I can't throw it out, so you I just, can't. like, put them places. Yeah. Like, I'm sure there's, like, some, some in my car of, like, random dead people that I'm, like, not even... When I was younger, we used to go to this house upstate. The guy who owned that, it was, like, a bed and breakfast type of thing. The guy who owned that house, his name was Frank, and he died in a car accident, bro, like, 20 years ago. I have that card still. You still have it. And I, because I don't... And I, you, and I must... And I've moved three times. You need it, and you so bring I'm it with you. Them. You're packing it with you. It's all right. I I'm have, hoping that the, the that life just takes them and gets and just moves them. Yeah. But I, if I see them, I'm like, I'm not gonna throw this out. So I just kind of like hide them, and I just hope that they like 
I don't hide them. I keep them. I think I have a bunch up like in the attic right now in storage. Um, and then there are some like random ones that I'll honestly, I'll find them in like five years time and be like, oh shit. And I won't summon them. Here's the fucked up part. Old people, like our grandparents age, they never use their real name. So like there was a guy that lived on my block. I don't, I don't remember his real name, but we called him Santi. And he was good friends with, <laughs> he was good friends with my uh, grandmother, my maternal grandmother. And like my mom knew him growing up. Maternal? Maternal oh, grandmother. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 So when we went to his wake, I got a card, and I don't remember his his real name was like you know like Giorgio Giorgio Papepi you know Gabadugus, yeah. and I I don't was that an Italian thing you just did? Yes, because his uh, he was very Italian. Yeah, that's you can't talk about my people like that, <laughs> and sorry. I hope that you like are sorry. I'm gonna tell Italy on you. But like I'll have cards in my house and currently do of people that I know I knew when I got the card. Yeah. But I have no fucking clue who it's for now. Right, yeah, no. And oh, because they don't have pictures on them. Some, yeah, of them. some of them don't. Yeah. You know, some of them do. And you can be like, oh, yeah, it's, you know, it's so-and-so. Yeah. Oddly enough, I don't know where my grandma's is. And, like, that's the only one that I, like, would want. Uh, but I don't know where that shit is, bro. She died in 2012. Yeah, I have. Oh, I, I know a bunch of dead people. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where their uh, mass cards are. But you know how they say, like, when you go to heaven... It's like, oh, you know, your your people are waiting for you when you get there. <laughs> Thinking about, like, if you, like, I feel like. <laughs> if they got the call, it's like, Frankie's coming. It's like. Like, uh, God forbid, right, if I died, like, a year ago. I don't like talking about death in the I, future. I was going to say. But if I died a year ago, showing up, that would be such a weird group of people. Yeah. I'd be like, what are you guys hanging out yeah, with? Yeah, I would want to, like, I kind of want to wait to die. But also. What the hell? <laughs> you got the you want to wait for it? Like, I'm saying, like, I've always joked around with my family and said, like, I hope I go before all you guys because I don't want to deal with the pain of losing loved ones. Right. But also, if I went last and I showed up last at the party and I'm just like, oh. Yeah. That'd be pretty pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you live to, like, 108. And they're like, yeah, where the fuck is it? Well, I, what version of yourself and your current body? Yeah. What version of yourself do you think is the one that is like forever? Holy shit! Oh, fuck you! Stop! <laughs> Why are you so jumpy? I'm sorry. It's him. It's it, you know. Jesus Christ! It's him. You know, he scared me. Yeah. <laughs> fuck! I hate when you do that. <laughs> sorry. Jumpy. Fuck. What version of yourself do you hope is memorialized, like as like you go to heaven and you're forever this age? Uh, this one, I think. I I would say this one too. If not this one, actually no. If not this one, twenty year old Frankie. Savage. Um, I, I I don't know that you would get in. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Why I don't even know how that works. I, I think that you have it's, age is not a thing, and like you you don't have a face. You just kind of like float. I'm just a, like a, just a floating. Just being. like just like, like a, you know you're a bunch I, of or or, or people see me as the version they remember me as most, or what they want to see. Like exactly. maybe you could be like a nice like you know like like. A black and Asian mix. No, because guess what? I'm not. Yeah. Either of those. Yeah. Well, none of us are. No. In the, in no. The, no. No. In the, there are people that are black and Asian mixes, but Joe. You, but no, I know that. But I'm saying like <laughs> you said none of us are. <laughs> first of all, I'm no. No, I'm saying none of us are what we are. We can't if we aren't what we be. Stop. We can be that. <laughs> we can be whatever you have. A couple tattoos and a Shania Twain shirt will change a man. Let me tell you. <laughs> What were we supposed to talk about? We were we started talking about daylight savings time. Yeah. Um oh dude, by the way, the other day I saw um not I saw, I smelled spray paint and I realized I really like it. <laughs> serious though, I'm serious. I was driving and my window was down. I was on like 19th Avenue and I was like, is that spray paint? And I was like, damn, I fucking like spray paint. Damn, you kind of liked it? I was like, I kind of fucked with You were paint. huffing spray paint like Charlie? I wasn't huffing it, bro. I'm not going to get a bag and like, <laughs> you know, sniff it. But I but I like smelled it and I was like, kind of like, I think I like paint. Oh, are you going to go back to your old graffiti drawing days? And by graffiti drawing, I mean in the back part of every notebook you had in high school? You, you want to talk about graffiti? Yes. You fucking, you did graffiti. When the fuck did I do graffiti? I never tagged up with spray paint. I hope no. I've never done that. I either. know. I know. I never said you did. I said you would write gra fat graffiti letters. You know the, <laughs> you know which ones I'm talking about. The fat ones. Yeah, I do. The J where it's like all the parts connect. It just looks like a big like like, um, a, like a fat bitch. Like a bean. What's the what's the beanie bean? Wait, what's it called? Bean. 
<laughs> what are you beanie saying? Beanie babe? Beanie? No. What's the... Joey, you sit on them. I know what it's called. I'm not going to tell you. Fuck you. I hate when you do this. I'll let Bean. you figure it out. Beanie. No. Are you the only thing that comes to mind is bean. Bean. Bean bag chair. There you what go. an idiot. There you go. Bean. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Sitting there. Can't find the bean. Story of Joey's life. <laughs> yeah. Yo, honestly... I'm not going to sit here and pretend like, you know, we're like the sex masters of the universe. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> but, yo, how, I feel like, you know, it's like a funny joke. Be like, oh, where's the clit and all the, you know, whatever. Yeah. But, like, it's not very difficult. It, it, you know. The G-spot's it, harder. It's inside. There's, like, you and know, it's theories. Different. And it's different. Yeah, and it's always, it's not, you know, it's a button that, like, it doesn't always work when you press. Yes. I think the thing that's tough is... You put it like this, all right? I'm going to compare it to something that you might be able to figure out. It's such a finite space, you know? Like, it, there's only so much space. What, what are you talking about? The right vagina. Now? Got it. It's, <laughs> it's a finite space. Like, what you see is right there. It's all right there in front of you. But it's such a densely populated area, you know? There's, there's a lot going on. It's like Manhattan. Yo, it is. It's like <laughs> the, the vagina is like Manhattan, It New is, because there's, there's like so many buildings and so many things to do. There's a coffee shop right next to yeah. this. Then there's another coffee and, shop. And even when you're in what you think is the best place, they'll be like, yo, have you checked out downtown? Yeah. And, and it's then like, also, oh, hold on. And then there's speakeasies. Yeah. And it's like, this <laughs> looks like a hot dog spot, but if you go on the back, there's a really nice cocktail bar. And, you're like, and that's kind of like the G spot. And as you're passing one part, you'll come across something you really didn't know was there. Right. And you'll just be like, whoa, what was that? Oh, Stytown's pretty cool. And also, not only that, but places are constantly closing and then opening up. So you're like, oh my God, I've never seen that. And yeah. It's like, you you're, know what I'm saying? The vagina, you're discovering new things about yeah. it. It's you like know, Manhattan. It's like, you know, James Cameron made a movie about the Titanic where he went down there and observed and, like, figured it out. I wish he'd make one about the vagina. Me too. It would help a lot of people. Yeah. And we should let that same old woman tell us about it, too. Oh, she's long gone. Yeah. You know, you know when I watch... My... <laughs> it's crazy that we could just jump all We're over good. The place. We're good. We're jumping, boys. But, but, but... Yep. Whenever I watch movies or TV shows that are, like, older... And What's I older? See... Like like Seinfeld or something, right? Okay. So eighties and nineties. Yeah. So like I watch stuff like that, and then I see old people, and I go, "This guy's dead." Yes. I always think about the people being dead. I don't. I don't just think about like the people. I think of like the background extras. Do you know that to be a, a thing? Do you know that's a thing, right? Hold on. I, this is this would be cool for people to know if they don't know it. But on TV shows like the Laugh Track, like sitcoms and stuff yeah. that they would use all the time, all those it was recorded in like. Oh, years ago. I don't remember the... the. Let's just say it was like the 40s or something. They recorded then. And all those people were are like dead. Or like it was like... The, you know what I'm saying? It was early. So all those people are dead? So you're hearing the laughter of dead. So people. when you're watching Big Bang Theory and hearing the 4,000th Bazinga and yeah. the 8,000th laugh track, they're you're all listening dead people. to the... Uh, the laughs of dead people. That makes sense because there's no way people that are alive laugh at that show, so... <laughs> <laughs> TV sucks, dude. Big Bang Theory sucks. Um, did you? Some people are gonna kill you for that. That's okay. I'm. I'm. That's fine with that. Yeah. Did you see that there's an Airbnb that people made in Washington D.C. that completely recreated Dunder Mifflin, and there's like a bed in the middle, and you can sleep on the bed. Like it looks like the off, like the office. Space. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Where is it? D.C. I've, I've I mean, passed you probably through. Can't. Like, it's probably booked out. No, uh, probably is booked out, but uh, per night, because the show debuted in 2005, it's only $20.05 per night. It's kind of smart. They're making that money back. I mean, well, they're losing a lot. not the word I would use. <laughs> I would say it's, like, kind of cool, but smart is not the word I would use. It was, no. They're financially I think responsible. I it's like $2,005 a night. I'd be like, damn. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, but... Yeah, that uh, I I defend The Office is one of the greatest TV shows ever. I don't know why we got there. I don't know, but oh, we, Big we Bang Theory. Like crazy. You were talking about how much you hate that show. I don't. I mean, I don't know it. Well, speaking of things that people watch, Joe, uh, there's actually some news that came out in the last couple of days about uh, our friend the Pope. A couple every couple of days, the Pope comes out has some has something to do. Something Does in he? the news. Um, I think he like kind of shows face like El Papa. You know, he kind of tips his papal cap. I could be making this up, but I thought that the Pope just like, w like in Aladdin, you know, he like walks out onto a ledge and he's like, and like the whole town's there. I'm gonna do you one. Is that real? Little, I feel I'm gonna like do you one little thing. favor here, Joey. Yeah. There is no Pope in the movie Aladdin. 
No, no, no. I'm saying like in the in the movie Aladdin, you know, he like steps out, like the Sultan like steps out and he like makes an announcement or whatever. He's like Jafar is fucking. Yeah, whatever. I think that's what they do. Yeah, I think he like walks out on the ledge from the big church. Is mm-hmm. that called the Vatican or is the Vatican the whole? The Vatican thing? is the is the country. So what's the building that he's in? Church. Yeah. Whatever. So I he, think I think the building is also called the Vatican. Two Vaticans. Yeah, well. So then he walks out and he's just like and he he says stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I think. He comes out. Wait, what the fuck were you talking about? I completely cut you off. Well, yes, you did again. <laughs> uh, he came out and said that there are some popes, uh, some nuns, and people in the church that watch porn. Well, you knew this. Priests and nuns are watching porn. Well, he spoke about it during like a Q and A, which apparently you can do with the Pope. I actually sent you the article if you want to pull it Dude, up. Dude, can you imagine we get the Pope on this show? I would have Bro, so first of many all, questions. he's cool as shit. He's coming out all the time and like just like half upsetting people, half like making them happy. He comes out and he's like, um, I just want to tell you that like being gay, fucking cool. He said that? Yeah, he's cool with gays. Fire. I type in Pope admits nuns into uh <laughs> into Google. Into whoa. Uh, what you found doesn't sound good. Mm, no. So this this story is there, but there's also another one. Pope admits clerical abuse of nuns, including uh, why why do we need to go there, Joey? Something uh, than the word slavery. So heavy stuff, guys. <laughs> heavy stuff. This one's the fun one here. Uh, it says nuns and priests watch internet porn. Yeah. Pope admits. Yeah. He said the devil gets in that way. Uh, porn. Oh. It depends what kind of porn you're watching, though. Well, I think he, at one point in the article, because I read it, he says, like, he, like, downplays it. He's like, you know, it's not, like, the illegal stuff. It's, like, you know, like, the normal porn. Oh, I got the quote right here. It says, it is a vice that many people have. Many laymen, many laywomen. What does that mean? I think that's what they call people of the church. Laymen? Yeah. And laywomen? Yeah, I think so. I don't I don't make the, these words. I'm just telling you what they might be. Many laymen, many laywomen, uh, and also priests and nuns. Uh, the devil gets in that way, and I'm not just talking about criminal pornography like that involving the abuse of children. Jesus. He went right there. Strange to he knows. immediately draw he knows that comparison. Audience. He yeah, knows. He... I know what everyone's thinking. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Chill, not, everyone. Like, obviously that shit, but also, and then he's, oh, and then he said, but the pornography that is a little normal. So, like, gaping buttholes and, like, squirting peepees. Uh, gaping buttholes I wouldn't consider normal porn I, just, I think normal porn is just uh, like you know, uh, gaping buttholes is the first one that came to my yeah. mind <laughs> yo honestly I've seen a video mm-hmm. okay <laughs> I'll be honest exactly where I thought this was I'm going I'm gonna speak so that we don't get demonetized but I saw a a video <laughs> uh, of a woman you already said gaping butthole you know that right I know I know I know <laughs> So listen, 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 okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna. You're gonna know hey, what all I right, mean. All right, wait, put me in it. No, hold on. You oh. gotta. You look at me. You'll oh, know. gotcha. When I was younger. Uh huh. How old? I was probably 14 years old. Okay. And I don't saw, say that. Now no, we're no, no. definitely tomorrow. I didn't make the video. I, I saw a video. Okay. You shouldn't have been looking at 14. Cool. I was 14, right? And I saw a video, <laughs> and it was of a woman, and she had her legs. Behind her head, kind of with her butt up in the air. Wearing her ankles as earrings, as we so call it. Yes, right? But also putting a lot of pressure on her, the top of her spine. Yeah. So she was at, like that, and then her uh, tunnel. <laughs> her tunnel had... Pa- the Panama had, Canal. Had been uh, parted. Yeah. So much, and then a man... Uh, put a golf, golf ball, ball yeah. into into said tunnel. Yeah. Uh, and then I like got really like weirdly like fucked up. You and liked I just it. Turned you it. Like, no, you I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I swear to God. Okay. I've liked weirder shit, but not weirder shit. That. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck could be weirder than that, Joey? <laughs> no, no, no. But I saw that and I was like, what is happening? And then I shut it off. And then I started thinking. And then I had some time to think about it and reflect. And I was like, what happened to that ball? Is she okay? I'm sure the ball came out. Yeah, I know, but how one, how do you how do you open a tunnel like that? Um you know, I Joey, I am a very uh smart person. I don't have the answer to everything. 
Unfortunately, it would. I could you try to come guesses? up. I could probably come up with a guess. I mean, it wouldn't be too laborious, but I. It's not that easy. What? I every single week. I hope that you forget. <laughs> every single week, I hope that you forget about that fucking word. I would think it's a lot of practice, and also I think it's just you know like if if it could do it for a baby, it could do it you know to get crazy. That's that's my saying. Cool. That would be true if uh, you gave birth out of your asshole, which you don't. Oh, whoa. Hold on. Oh, you're talking of the the back. The back tunnel, Frank. The back tunnel. Yes. I thought you were talking about the, the front one. Oh. Well, just, you know, the... the, the, the uh, well, how's, what's the word I, I should use here so we don't get demonetized more? Um, the sphincter, I'll use medical terminology, is a muscle. Just like, a, you know, and you can work out muscles. Yeah, well, that's the strongest fucking asshole I've ever seen in my life. Well, it it's probably not as strong because it was opened up. The strength of the of the sphincter is when it's closed. Mm -hmm. You know, not when it's open. When it's open and it's just like you know, kind of like a like a bag in the wind. Ew, Frankie. <laughs> uh, and then also the Pope, by the way, he's he caught he said, "Dear brothers, be careful about this." So he was like warning all of the priests. The, he's like, "Yo, just to just to be honest, there's some fire porn out there. <laughs> like the devil gets in." That's that smart. Way. That's yeah. smart. He's trying to test their internal fortitude. Yeah. And just be like, "All right, guys, listen." It was like boot camp for like the the priests, right? Bro. In 2020, Pope Francis' Instagram account appeared to like a racy photo of a Brazilian bikini model dressed in stockings and suspended. We talked about this. The devil. The devil got him on Instagram. The and devil. I, I know her. The devil? Nope. <laughs> the girl. Oh, like. Yeah. Like you, like, hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, I've met her. Wow. Okay. So you and the Pope, there's our six degrees of separation. <laughs> It's insane, dude. Imagine the Pope likes your fucking butt pic. That's kind of, that's a holy ass, dude. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, you know, that you've, you've just been blessed. Yeah. He wants to shoot his He's holy. He's like, damn, you're blessed. God bless you. He wants to shoot his holy water on God there. bless you. Yeah, no, that, I love the, the plan where he's just like, all right, yo, guys, listen up. God, like, God, you know, God is cool, but porn. There's some sick shit out there, guys. So be careful. No, and none of that kitty shit, guys. I'm talking about none real no, I'm talking, fire shit. I'm talking like porn. If people found out you watched, wouldn't want to kill you. Yeah. Don't do it, though. Yeah. You know? He's like, there's stuff out there that, that like Satan really wants. And how does he know? I, I would be like, yo, Pope. Hey, Fran. That's, you want a battle-hardened Pope. When you get a Pope, you don't want someone that's been, you know, you know, everything's given to them on a silver spoon and a silver platter. I feel like if you're a pope, you should allow to you should be allowed to have sex if you get to pope. If you get to pope, you should be able to fuck. Oh, like Take it easy. I was Take gonna say whoever you want. Okay, yeah. Well, I know, like but... illegally, right? You know, because like you're like the cream of the crop at that point. Like you're like yeah, you're you made like, it to the highest rank besides like being a fucking being God himself. Yeah. Uh, well, Jesus and stuff, or herself, inclusive. That's right. Or they self. Whoa, dude! You just. Yeah, that's right. Why are we put, assigning any sort of gender to a, a spiritual being? Yeah. Um, I would say that, yeah, you get to be the Pope. You could just be like, yo, like, our father who fucking lick my nuts, you know, hallowed be thy name, you okay. know? Now, now you're being offensive to prayers. Am I? You're asking the wrong girl. I don't have no idea. Sorry. Um, I, anyway, I Frankie, thanks so much for saying that. We're going to get to the ads for today. <laughs> uh, we have Stitch Fix, ladies and gentlemen. Stitch Fix. Uh, it's like having your own personal stylist. You log on. You take their style quiz. You let them know what you like, what you don't like. And then they will spring into action. They will pull a couple of items. I believe it's like five items uh, that will show up. And you only pay for what you keep. You send the rest back. Free shipping. Easy. Uh, and it's a nice way to kind of keep your wardrobe fresh and new and exciting. And opening packages is just exciting, let's be honest with you. Uh, but it's an easy way to get your clothes that fit you. Also, that's another thing. You put your fit, what kind of fit you like. If you like a looser fit or like a little more slim, you tell them what you want. They will send that stuff. Um, and they know which uh, companies like run loose uh, or run too big or run uh, too tight so they can make adjustments there. Uh, but yeah, right now Stitch Fix is offering our listeners $20 off of their first fix at stitchfix.com slash basement. That is stitchfix.com slash basement for $20 off today. 
stitchfix.com slash basement. Go get your style on. Uh, and next year we have HelloFresh. HelloFresh, pre-portioned meals and ingredients arriving to your door. All right, you go on their site, you pick out all these cool stuff, and it just shows up to your apartment, okay? And like I said, it's all pre-portioned. You use all of it. They give you a little uh, recipe. You follow the recipe, and you make some nice meals, okay? For me, I think this is the most useful thing in the world because I don't know what to cook. You can only make chicken pasta so many different ways. So to have something like this that's going to, like, broaden your horizons as far as cooking uh, is so helpful in that way. And also, the food is amazing, okay? this is We're talking about, like, fresh organic stuff not just like you know frozen whatever uh it's great so uh go to hellofresh.com slash basement 65 and use the code basement 65 uh for 65 percent off plus free shipping holy hell uh again that is hellofresh.com slash basement 65 and use the code basement 65 for 65 percent off all right go check them out folks uh hellofresh boom um but yeah <laughs> Oh, uh, b before you get to whatever we're going to upset people with next, make sure yes. you also go check out the Patreon. Guys, October, we uh, we were just there. We just kissed the tip of 12000 on our Patreon account, which you can find at patreon.com slash thebasementyard. And we promised you guys if we get to 12,000 patrons, which we very might realistically do this month, we're going to have a, uh, a drag artist come in here, do Joey and I in full drag, document the experience, and then do an episode in it. So make sure you go to patreon.com slash thebasementyard and sign up today or give the gift of the Patreon. The holidays are coming up, and guess what? Oh, man, is it a good gift for lovers of the Basement Yard. That first tier, that gets you these weekly episodes a week in advance, so you get in on everything a little earlier. And then that second tier, well, that's where you get those exclusive episodes that not everybody gets a chance to see that are somehow a little more ridiculous. Can you believe it? Go check it out. Patreon.com slash the Basement Yard. Sign up today or give the gift of it. You'll love it. Yeah. Um, also, I just got an update on my phone because I bought a lottery ticket. Oh, yeah, I got to buy those today. That Billy is, is calling my name. 1.9 billion Powerball. Join tonight's historic Powerball drawing before it's too late. Yeah, I've joined. Yeah, I... You better hope I don't. I don't know, though. There's something million. about buying it on the app that's a little fishy to me. Fishy, though. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. I'm going to do it in person. Whatever. I'm going to do it in person, and then I'm going to lose in person. Yeah. I bought, too. like, maybe, like you know, like a hundred bucks of tickets over the last week. Bro. And uh, every morning I wake up, not a billionaire. I know, but and imagine. It, and it hurts. Tonight, there's the drawing tonight, I think. There is tonight. Um, Bro. It, oh my God. I, I want. $900 million? Cash. That's if you do the cash. I know. If you do the annuity payments, it's more. If you do the annuity payments, you're a pussy. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. You're kind of. Frankie, don't be a fucking idiot. No, 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 no. No. Hear me out. If you do the annuity payments, you're you're financially smarter. And no, and no, you're not. And you're legitimately wrong. You're you understand that you're less disciplined. Who fucking cares? I do. How, okay, I'm gonna come over there and Go, strike you. Get over here. What would be the annuity payments? Um, I mean, you, you would probably get just over a billion dollars, if not a little more. Over, I think it's like twenty years or something like that. You don't think that's smart? Oh no! So what? You get a monthly? What would that? What would it be? A billion dollars divided by twenty. Let's say it is twenty. What's twenty? Years. The, the, oh, the oh. time frame. So one billion. I gotta, I gotta turn it sideways. There's a lot of zeros. Yeah, it's a billion divided by twenty. That's fifty million a year divided by twelve. That's four million a month. I no way. That's so stupid. Why? Bro, you can get 50, what is it, 50 million a year? 50 million a year. No. Dude, that's kind of smart. No. Yeah, because think of it like this. You need that capital. You get you, you have a billion dollars. You st It's still yours. It's, it's in an annuity. It's still an asset. Bro. It's not like it's not your money. It's still your also, money. Also, the market is shit. Put it all in the market. No. Wait for it to boom. No. It's going to fucking, the market is going to go right down and then put it in the market. Uh, yeah, uh, we're going into a recession. This is the best time to have yeah. cap. Yeah, absolutely. Guess who has none? <laughs> nah, dude, I'm fucking taking that money. And then I'm blowing like 
twenty five million dollars in the first weekend. Oh, I thought you before. I thought you were saying right now you have twenty five million dollars. I don't know if you saw me perk up. <laughs> no, I'm saying I'm blowing twenty five million. Yeah, it, Becca and I had this conversation when like the, not this time, the last time it was a billion dollars when like the a, a one person from like North Carolina won it. I wonder what happened to them. Uh, How come all those people go broke? Well, that's the thing is that there's a, a popular thing out there called the curse of the lottery, and it's like people, bro, overnight. Overnight. Now listen, we joke about your your earnings. You are you you are very comfortable in the amount that you make, but you're not a fucking billionaire. Bro, yeah. In one night, you can go from what you have, yeah, a good living, modest living to having unlimited resources for your kids, for yourself, your kids, their kids, their kids and their kids probably. Right. Unlimited. Do you know mentally what that does to the person? Bro, I don't know if your body can comprehend that. The reason that everyone loves Elon Musk is because he's slowly built his worth. You're not listening to me at all. I am, I am. Okay. I am. Um, but bro, you would you would go to sleep tonight and wake up tomorrow morning, everything about you would be the same except for the fact that now you are a billionaire. <laughs> Fire, dude. It would, but also terrifying. What are you scared of? Fucking, uh, first of all, getting murdered. What are you talking about? I mean, I think you can stay anonymous. Yeah, but there are people that will know it's you. Nah. Yes. They say the first thing that you should do with that money is call a lawyer and a financial uh, analyst. What is the lawyer going to do? The lawyer has to help you, like, negotiate, like, getting the money and stuff oh, like that. Oh, all right. That. Yeah, whatever. There's, there's someone that knows you have it. Okay. The financial advisor. Another person that knows that you have it. Higher security. I mean, this okay. Dude, you higher have security. Million dollars. Yes, Joey. I don't think you're or a billion. The 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 paranoia that would come along with that. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not scared of that. You don't, you're not. You're not afraid of the paranoia of walking no. around. I don't have it on me. Yes, Joey. So why? What is someone gonna do? Hold me hostage? This is not Gotham City. Yeah. But first of all, yeah, they will hold you hostage. No. You have loved ones. They'll hold me hostage. No one's gonna hold you hostage. What are you paying ransom for me, realistically? If I have a billion? If you have a billion dollars. Um, it really would depend. 10 mil. The guy would have to... The, the, the people would have to have a really good track record of like, maybe they've killed yeah, someone. Show me your, show me your kidnapping yeah, resume. Like, let me, yeah, let me see. Yeah. Because if you've never done this before, like you're not going to Give me that three money. sources that you previously kidnapped that I can call and ask about. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like I need to see your resume. Bro, a billion dollars. That's crazy. Becca, one I'm day... I'm not we're worried about that. Bro, buy a fucking castle and live in that and then hire lions. <laughs> yeah, okay. To fucking... Patrol. Yeah, good idea, Joey. Really yeah. awesome idea. Uh, but rich people walk around all the time, dude. You, if you live in Manhattan, you've walked by people who have hundreds of millions of dollars. Yes, but you don't know them. I mean, you do. And no, but you don't. Bro, the fucking CEO of Goldman Sachs is a DJ. And he DJs like at fucking random bars. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. He does. Okay, sweet. So, like, if, if I, I knew do, that, if, if you knew that, you're going to tell me you wouldn't go up to him and say, give me fucking $2 million right now, you piece of shit, or I'm no. cutting your balls off. It doesn't happen to him. I'm, I'm sure it has. No. I'm yeah. sure people are like, yo, can I have a job? And he's like, fuck you. Rick is like, well, what's the first thing you do with the money? And I was like, what's the first thing you do with the money? And she's like, uh, I'm calling my parents. I'm paying all their debt off. I'm calling, you know, like I'm giving some money to like, I'm putting away for the kids. I'm giving some. And I said, that's really sweet. All of them are, that, I hate those answers. I love, it's, like my sister would say, oh, I'm paying off my student loans. <laughs> Shannon. Do you not realize the amount of money you're talking about? Yeah. I said to her, and this is legitimately, like, I, I would use it, if there, if there is a God, I would use it very well. I would be honest and responsible. Please. But yeah. the first place I'm going, and I said this back, I was like, the first place I'm going is the bar. Because I can't, I need to put my brain in a new place to comprehend the wealth that I have just amassed. You know what I think I would do? If I knew that money was coming, I would just spend every dollar that I have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's be like, fuck it. We're going to get rid of this. Yeah. And just do something. Yeah. And then I would just start buying houses. Well, that's a good part. Housing is, is probably one of the smarter moves because you'll just make money doing that. buy so many houses. Actually, I would go on like a three-month long trip it's, to fucking God it's knows It's so where. tough because like we're, we are in very different stages of our life. And I would do those things under different pretenses. Bro, get a private jet. 
put the kids in the jet. Who cares? That's hire well, five. Dude. Hire five <laughs> professional nannies that are like no, incredible. But I want, like, I want to be there with my. You kid. can be right there. They're gonna be right there, but you can take it. No, know. but the, why? Why hire? Why hire a nanny that's sitting there not doing their job? I want to be there. I want to do it too. You could do it too. But thirty-five thousand feet in the air, bro. I'll I'll tell you this. No, I am not kidding when I say this. Yeah. Dinners, breakfasts, mm -hmm. and lunches would be wildly different. I'd be yeah. like, where do you want to go for dinner tonight? Prague? Let's go. Yeah. You know, Same. oh, what do you want for breakfast? You want you want to call Gordon Ramsay, have him come over? Not a problem. Probably could. You could you could pay Justin Bieber to show up to your birthday. That's a weird name. I don't know why I said that. Yeah, I don't know where or why you immediately went to. He's in like a weird like religious phase now, so maybe don't maybe not him. Maybe as soon as he got tattooed patience on the back of his ear, I was like, yeah. What's happening? Yeah, I don't, I don't want, I don't want religious Justin Bieber. I want pissing in buckets Justin Bieber. You want, you want a what was his name back then? Jay J Bizzle. Jay Biebs. Yeah, no, Wh whatever, it whatever was. it is, yeah. whatever it was. I the want the one that. who was wearing like leather jackets. Yes, yes, yes. And then I want to hire Dennis Rodman and, and just oh. be like, yo, let's go out one night, me and you. Let's just, let's just go. Yeah. No cocaine for me. You do it all. Do whatever the hell you want. Okay. Let me ask you a serious question. Okay. You become a billionaire tomorrow. Yeah. One, mm -hmm. do you give me anything? Absolutely. I think I'd give you some money. Uh, dude, I've been giving everyone money. I, uh, well, a billion dollars. Can, I give me, can you give me a little more? What, what would be an amount that you would be happy with? I would, honestly, if you want me to be really, really, really honest, yeah. I would be happy with $500,000. <laughs> if you were a billionaire. <laughs> but, but if we're starting to throw in like, you know, if we're starting to throw in like hidden fees and stuff like that, what you know, are we talking about? like a phone bill, Verizon, you know, like you got your phone charge, you got your insurance, you got your data charge, you got yeah. your, you know, I would be like, all right, that's our base, 500,000. I'd be like, I've known you for 26 years. Yeah. You know, another 500,000 per year. Oh, you're talking about a salary. <laughs> <laughs> or at least another, another 100,000 per year. Okay. You know, then take into account the fact that we've seen each other cry. What the fuck does that mean? You're good friends with people that have never seen you cry. Okay. That's, I think, another, like, 200000 on tax. Okay. I, I would say, realistically, I think yeah. my worth would be around, like, the 2.6, 2.8 million <laughs> range. Start at 500, we're up to 2.6. Yeah, I would be happy with 500. Right, But right. I do think my worth has contributed to a little more happy. If I won a billion dollars, and I was like, yo, Frank, I'm going to give you some money. Yeah. Or let me reverse this. Okay. You win a billion dollars. Yeah. And you say to me, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you some of this money. Mm -hmm. And then I find out that amount is $500,000. <laughs> I, you know how I hate driving to Jersey, <laughs> but I will be there. You know what I would do? I may walk. You know what I would do? I may walk so that I, the anger gets <laughs> built up down. more. And then I just burn your house to the ground. I would. Yeah. <laughs> I would. If, if I, you're going to give someone money from a billion dollars. You can't give them anything. I'll be honest million. right now. You ready? <laughs> if I made a billion dollars tomorrow, yeah. I would buy you a helicopter and a heliport. <laughs> so it would help you come to New Jersey more. Cool. I would just probably take it to the Hamptons though. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, with you could take it where, where you bring it is okay, but you're obligated to do like once a quarter to me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I honestly, and I've thought of this. Yeah. An abnormal amount. Yeah. I would. I know. I would give you a fair amount of money, and I would have a speech ready for it. I would give. I, I wouldn't would, tell you I'm giving it to you. I would come. I swear to God, I'd walk in with a briefcase of cash. Okay, fucking don't do that. <laughs> you think I want to carry around millions of dollars in cash? Well, you have a you have a very nice car that could carry that. I'm not talking about the physical capability. I don't want to walk around with a million. No, dollars no. Cash. I'd be like, yo. If I have a briefcase. You know what I would do? I'd be like, yo, where are you right now? And you'd say, oh, I'm at the gym or I'm jogging 12 miles on a Saturday morning because I'm a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you just show up with the money. I'd, I would show, I'd be like, yo, meet me at your apartment in two hours. I would, I would take you on a wild goose chase. I'd be like, yo, there's $5 million for you somewhere, but you have to do these things. Oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't make it that fun or cool. Oh, I would. I wouldn't because that would suck. I would be oh, five like, million you'd give me. Yeah, yeah, probably. And but I would I would I'd I, give you, I think I'd give you five. But I would but I would do stupid shit. Like I would just like ruin your life before I gave it to you though. 
Oh. Like, I would just, like, slash your tires. <laughs> What's the difference? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'd, like, slash your tires. Okay. And you'd be like, yo, someone slashed my tires. Oh, no, here's a new car. Yeah, but you would Leave that know. car there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, you know what I'm saying? But I would, I, would, I would do this before I told you I was giving you money. I would just start slashing tires. Then I'd be, then I'd throw a rock through your fucking window. Okay. You know what I mean? So you would pull like a watcher, you know, like you'd torment physically, yeah, mentally, yeah. emotionally, torment exactly. me and my family. Yeah, like light your lawn on fire. And then, yeah, and then on the back, on the back end, just be like, oh, by the way, here's $5 million. Yeah, yeah, You'll yeah. never sleep comfortably or soundly ever no, again. No, exactly. I, I would like to traumatize you. I don't like, I don't like talking about yeah. having this money because in my head, my brain tells me you could. But in reality, I won't. I wouldn't even know how to react if I like woke up and I was like, "Oh, you won the jackpot." I'd be like, "I gotta be honest. I don't know how to read. I might have already won it, and I don't know." Well, <laughs> no, you would know. No, I. It's so hard to read. You need to get all the numbers plus the red, unless there's double, triple multipliers. And it's like, bro, just just tell me, just give me ten numbers. Yeah, tell me I got it. Yeah, that would be insane, dude. Nine hundred million dollars, bro. I would start. Bra- I would give. I would give a million dollars to like fucking no, like people I just pass on the street. Well, then that downplays the people you do give it to. So don't do that. Cool. I don't give a shit. I do. I, I care about that. And oh, you- so if I give you five million dollars, but I give a stranger a million, you'd be like, what the fuck? I'd be like, they're one quarter my one fifth my worth. Yeah, that would be upsetting to me. Then I would take the money back. You selfish bitch. Too late. It's already gone. I already spent it. Oh. I um yeah I don't like talking about these topics because in my head I get excited about what I would do. But I am very much so like the type of person that like I don't allow my things to, myself to get excited for things until they have already happened. You know what I mean? Okay. Like I, I've been burnt before by things that are not necessarily hap- – like they're not – what was that? I've been burnt before? Yeah. I've been burnt before getting excited for things. I don't that- think that like pretending to win the lottery is getting burnt. In my head, I get so fuck- – Joey, I don't think you realize how much I think this would change my life. I don't know. No. Being a billionaire, you idiot. No, no, no. Of course. I, of course, being a billionaire would change anyone's life. But like, I thought of like how I would quit my job. I've thought about if I would keep oh. doing this show. I've thought about like the conversations I would have with like you when I gave you money, my parents, my siblings, you know, Becca's parents. You're deep in. I Like I get very deep in to the point that it's very unhealthy. I would literally make everyone I know a millionaire. Like without a doubt. Like everyone. Well, you only have... Um, how many millions is that? A thousand millions. So you can only make a thousand people a millionaire. I don't know a thousand people, Frankie. Yes, you do. You've, no. met, you've met a thousand people. There's under 50 people that I would give a million dollars to. And there you go. Not everyone then. 50 people. That's 50 million. Oh. Yeah, you'd be a mil. Well, higher millionaire. Uh, <laughs> I might give Ant a little bit. Wow. I might give Ant. I wow. might just be like, bro. Like, I'd do the, I'd, I, you know, I would be. How much did you give Ant? I would say maybe like. 250 <laughs> Fuck. million no <laughs> i'll give him 250 you wow. want to call him in here see if he'd give us any no i don't want to know that i think we should ask him i would beat it out of him yeah <laughs> i uh just like i would give it yeah i'd give 200, him you give him 250,000 dollars i'd give him 250 but like i would turn into the salaries would change drastically in here if i had a billion dollars well yeah i would be like i don't i don't care about my salary anymore give it to fucking kids yeah. in africa or whatever i would I would legitimately become the biggest, in a sense, douchebag in the world. Well, yeah, I think that's like without saying. Because I would do the, I carry rolls of hundreds on me and tip every person I oh, see. Oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I would do that. But I would be like the most pretentious, like, I would become a snob in like the most weird ways. Like you'd only eat prosciutto from a certain part of Italy. Exactly. Gotcha. Like, oh, this is these are imported actually, and it's like they're bananas. Dude. Yeah, I would like to think I'd get smarter, but I I wouldn't care I would to be smarter. Actively get dumber. <laughs> actively be dumber. Yeah, yeah I think so. Uh, before we uh, move on with this conversation, we do have some sponsors that are uh, you know keeping us afloat here. Uh, the first one being MVMT. <laughs> Guys, the holiday season is coming up, and MVMT has some great ideas for gifts. Um, they're uh, Watches are incredible, um, and they are the fraction of a price of a, a watch that you would get in like a store. But they have the same quality, and they're amazing. I have a bunch. Frankie has a bunch as well. Um, they have fine jewelry. They have uh, eyewear, um, and they have a, a Black Friday seasonal sale. Okay, with a discount you can't miss. Um, but yeah, 
You got to go check out Black Friday. Uh, you got to go check out MVMT during their Black Friday seasonal sale. You get a special discount of 25% off site wide with the code BF25. Uh, just in time for the holidays. Uh, join the movement today at MVMT.com. That is MVMT.com again at the sale. 25% off site wide with the code BF25. So definitely go check them out. Go get some eyewear. Go get some watches. Go get uh, whatever you want. Go get them. MVMT.com. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff there, guys. Definitely highly recommend them. Um, and lastly here, we have Shopify. Shopify uh, makes it simple to sell to anyone from anywhere. This is for big businesses, small businesses, anyone just getting started or wherever you're at in your career uh, with your company. Shopify is the platform to be using. Um, you'll create an online store. Uh, you know, you can discover new customers. They help you discover new customers and to retarget your own customers. They have a bunch of charts and whatever that you can read to see where traffic is coming from. It's very helpful, all of it. I've been using Shopify for years. All the people that I know who do e-commerce or any sort of online business, they use Shopify. It is the one. So if you're thinking about doing that, uh, you can go check them out. Um, but yeah, uh, if you don't have a Shopify business, um, you should get one. Um, <laughs> sign up for a free trial at shopify.com slash basement all lowercase go to shopify.com slash basement to start selling online today again that is shopify.com slash basement so like i said if you're going to be doing e-commerce or anything online definitely go check them out um and see how you like it uh and i figured we're going to end this show on a on a hot uh topic here mm. um but there was a story that came out about a girl who uh turned her fallopian tubes into a necklace yeah now how do you feel about uh organ jewelry um i i gotta be honest i didn't know what happened enough to feel a certain way about it yeah um but my question for you yeah without looking it up what do the fallopian tubes do those are tubes um, that are in women, mm -hmm. right? They fallope. Well, they do, yeah. <laughs> and um, things fall out of them. Is that what happens? I don't know. I think it has something to do with birth. I think it delivers the egg from oh, where it goes. It's the highway into the from egg to. It's the turnpike of the body for women. Of yeah, so and it's it, like. And what's on the turnpike is not you know. Bruce, so, it's a little egg. The fallopian tubes are the turnpike of a yes. woman's body yes. that takes the egg and passes it through. It brings the egg from freehold, you know, to Piscataway. You're naming New Jersey towns? I am, absolutely. Um, <laughs> I am, absolutely. But also, just from uh, this I didn't know. Uh, she actually, so I thought it was going to be like the whole tube was like a necklace. Mm -hmm. But the tube doesn't look that very, it doesn't look very big. I don't think that they're long tubes. Plus, I know that they, sh like things shrink when they are cut off and or leave the body. Huh. And like sometimes when they're on the body, they get really tiny. Uh, but it's just, it's just because of the cold. She put them in like a locket, like a see-through locket, like a, like when your grandma dies. Like a shadow box? Or yeah, something like that. And uh, they're, it's like this big. I thought a fallopian tube was like long. Bro. Well, you know, as they say in the song, life is a highway. I assume the fallopian tubes would be, you know, kind of like a winding road. They are a little windy, but she, uh, she's 22, the girl who did this. Oh. Opted out of getting, uh, of her, opted to get her fallopian tubes extracted from her body, and then she turned them into a piece of jewelry to tether around her neck. Uh, she's so adamant on not wanting kids, so she um, underwent a, Say it. Sal salpingectomy. <laughs> One more time. Salpingectomy. Salpin salpingectomy. Salpingectomy. Salping. S a l p i n g. Ectomy. Salping. Sal or salpingectomy. Salpingectomy. Sal. Yeah. Salpingectomy. Salpingectomy. All medical words need to flow together. Are you gonna Google to say it? Yeah. Ectomy. <laughs> Pronunciation. Self-injectomy. Jectomy. Jectomy. I didn't know they were jecting. I don't. Yeah. Well, that makes sense because you. They. It's projecting. I, I. I think it's the removal. Oh. Ejecting. Eject. Yeah. Oh, eject your. Eject. And Sal get Sal out of there. Sal, <laughs> Sal ejectomy. Sal, listen. He ejected me yeah, out of here. Okay. 
Um, and wait till you hear what Hister did to me, because Hister acted me out of here, too. Oh, yeah. What is that? What is Hister? That's when you take the whole pussy out. No, I know. But what is hyster- <laughs> hysterectomy? Oh, the hysterectomy is you get rid of your whole pussy? <laughs> the uterus. Oh, the uterus. Well, who's well, his? It should be her hysterectomy. Now that we're thinking about that. Well, because, everything oh, is his story. Yeah, I know. You know like, everything on, is bro. about the guys. Fucking everything. everything. You know? Men have to take everything. Yeah. But a hysterectomy, they take your whole pussy out. They take the whole cat and caboodle. Yeah. Anyway, you, know, <laughs> you know, and they say they just taking the cat out of the bag. There. She said it makes her feel empowered. To have her tubes on her. She's Why? like, yo, my tubes. R.I.P. Okay. Well, is it like a medical thing? Like she had to like. No, nah, she that- just didn't want kids. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Oh, I didn't see this part of the She's story. She's 22. She opted to have it because she was like, I'm definitely not having kids, so fucking get these tubes out my Well, shit. if she's definitely not having kids because of a medical thing, I, oh, my heart goes out to her. But listen, we're not one to often judge what women do with their own body, but we're going to do it. I'm going to do it too. <laughs> this seems a little go hard, right? Um, That's like if I was like, bro, I'm just going to fucking never have, like, fucking kids, so here are my balls, and I hang them from a chain. Yeah. That's the male version of that. Would you do that? No. (laughs) Because guess what? At 22... I like having balls. I I honestly could do without the balls. I don't care. You don't like your balls? They are whatever. They're they're an accessory. Why? You sit on on them a lot. (laughs) You sit on your balls? You've never sat on your balls first? I've sat on my balls, Joey. And that hurts a lot. But not a lot. I would say once a quarter. I got. I would say once a quarter. Four times a year I sit on my balls, and it's excruciating. It, it does suck. But also, if you're, if you're asking me, like, balls are a necessary evil for having a big, a big dick. Bro, what did wait, I what did you say? say? <laughs> what did you say? What did I say? What did What I don't even know what you're saying. Oh, here comes the tongue. There it goes. <laughs> I like having balls, though, dude. What, I touch my balls. Why did I say big? I don't know, but... I'm working cool. I'm, I'm, you're working cool. Yeah. I, you're not making sense anymore, Frank. <laughs> I, uh, I like I like juggling my butt. Not juggling. I don't what know why I said... What the fuck? Not juggling. I meant like, you know, like, what's this? What, Playing what? with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know, like those guys that have those metal balls and like exactly. to like calm down. I well, like yesterday was Sunday. Sat on the couch, watch football all day. Yeah. My hand was In fondling your, balls, your in, own along. Yes. Okay. Uh, well into the afternoon, so I mean, I need those balls. You do need them. Um, you I could know. do without your balls though. You would get rid of your balls. Yeah, there's. Uh, there, I mean, at this point, I have you know another child on the way. Like if we were forget to, about that. If you, if you could still keep sperm and all that shit, but you were just like, oh, balls are like you know. Yeah, whatever. bro, they're fucking. They're 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 unnecessary. Flash. You don't need them. Flash. My life would be so much easier without balls, bro. What problems do you, uh, occur in your life? Hitting them, getting them in the zipper. Uh, Getting them in the zipper. Yeah, dude, that hurts. You've gotten your balls in the zipper? Yeah, you've never? No. Yeah, dude, it fucking hurts. I, like, pull my pants out when I zip them. Well, I I mean, I try to do my best to avoid it, but there are some times where you're going quick and you go, whoa, whoa, what was that? It hurts. I've never done that. I have cut my balls when I was Oh, I've cut my balls shaving. Like, yeah, like you're trimming and then it's like, and then my, you know, balls bleed a lot. Balls, I have a lot of veins in them, uh, especially mine. You have a veiny ball. I have veiny balls, bro. You ever? Never mind. Go ahead. I was gonna say you ever like really look at. Oh your yeah. Balls. Why don't you? Why don't our balls have like dots all over them? That's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I meant. I meant like if you if you like squeeze them. You know yeah. what I mean? I think and then that's, it's like it's like it's hair follicles. Hair follicles. That's why. Yeah. What, but why are they so like they're like little anthills? Well, because the skin there is so thin. Yeah. So I think it's. I think that's. Weird. I think it looks weird. I I listen because they don't feel like. Let me see, my ball. Show me yours. I'll show you mine right now. Why do you? Nothing think, gay about it. I'm not thinking it's gay. I don't want to see your balls. Why not? We're you know doing a show and. Well, when the cameras go off. Even worse. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't seen your balls in years. I don't need to see them again. Yeah, I have. I every now and then I I see them and I'm like, good on you. Good for balls. They're still there. Balls are... Never mind. Nope. Go. I, Do it. I... What the fuck is going on? Wait, what the fuck? Someone commented... So this girl made a TikTok, apparently, with her, like, uh... Yeah. Uh, fallopian tubes. And someone wrote, Bro, they told me I couldn't keep mine. I wanted to make a snow globe. 
kind of fire. I would. That's pretty sick. <coughs> oh. Um. What? Well, oh, um. Bless me, bro. No. You're not gonna God bless me. What if I don't? Then you let the devil in. That's what my grandma told me. That's why you say God bless you to block the devil. I know. Because the devil, when God you sneeze, bless you, Joey. Remember you. that I just blessed you in case you do win a million dollars. Uh, a billion dollars. That's what I said, billion. Um, no, listen. In regard to this girl, I, you know, whatever. You have your fucking full body autonomy. But doesn't that seem a bit premature to be like, I'm absolutely not having kids at the age of 22? I think I, people probably know by that time. But... There's a difference between saying that you don't want kids and then actually... Because I, I know people, I've come across people in my life that have said their whole life they never wanted kids and then they changed, had a kid, and they're like, what was I fucking missing? And I know the other end of it too where people are ha like, yo, I never wanted kids, didn't have kids. It's the biggest regret of my life and it's too late now. I'm not saying this world oh, doesn't want kids. Yeah. I think it might be a bit premature for her to say I don't want kids. And then in addition... That's like a super hard old move to like show people like no one like I'm sure people in her life because people do it to women all the time where they're like when are you having babies like when are you gonna find a good guy but like that's that's like the hardest and most like over the top way to be like I'm not doing it I physically can't oh yeah 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 I mean wearing it I, I, I'm like yo if you know I think that like you could uh, figure out that you don't want kids that early and, uh, and like whatever you want to get your tubes out, I don't give a shit. Do fuck do whatever. Like, uh, do whatever you want with tubes. But ill. Well, they're You're dried up. It? They're dried up. My mom still has my foreskin when I was a kid. You're, you're what the you're, fuck did you just say? My mom still has my foreskin. Your mom. I think it's my foreskin, or it might be my belly button. Probably my belly button. She has your belly button. Yeah, you don't. Your mom. I guarantee your mom does. My mom has my teeth. Yeah. Oh. She's kept my teeth, and I found them recently. Yeah, I know. You told me. These would be in these little, like, neon green... Like uh, caps. No, they were like a treasure chest. They were yeah, like yeah, yeah, chest yeah. And my teeth were in there. Yeah. But your mom has your foreskin and your belly button? I don't know about my foreskin. Don't quote me on that. Mom, I don't think you have that, I hope. But your belly button? The belly button, yeah. You know, I don't... How does she have your belly button? She has, like, the crust one that, like, falls out? Yeah. Ew, disgusting. That's a thing that parents keep. We have rubies. I'm, I know Becca still has Miles's. But Why? It's it's just a keepsake, dude. It's when well, are you gonna look at parenting it? Parenting it doesn't make sense. I'm not saying that you're wrong. It's it's ridiculous. Parenting doesn't make sense. It's stupid. Yeah. Why the fuck does my mom have my fucking eight year old teeth? Call your mom. Call her right now and ask. I her. bet she doesn't even know. Like keeping like oh, this is his first shoe. Call that call I your get. mom right now and ask her. Call her and ask her why she has my teeth. Yes. Call her right now and say, hey ma, it's it's uh, Joe and Frank. You know. And then be like, Mom, can I ask you a legitimate question? I'll call my mom, too. My mom's just getting over COVID, though, so maybe not the right time to call her. Hope she answers. Yeah, me too. Oh, she will. She's retired. She's got nothing else going on. I thought you'd laugh. You're looking at me. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Mom. Uh, you're live on the basement yard right now, but me and Frankie oh. just had a question. Okay. Hi, Liz. Hi, Frank. How are you? I'm doing well. Doing well. Good. Um, so, you know how, like, you kept my teeth from when I was a baby? <laughs> yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> I don't know. Everybody has all the mothers. They do that. Frankie said, and do you have my, uh, like, belly button? No, no, no. Because that would be disgusting. That would be weird. <laughs> exactly. That way, hold on. Teeth, normal. Belly button, weird. <laughs> Okay, uh, so but ask about your foreskin. Um, <laughs> um, so you have no idea why you just keep them. It's just like a thing. Well, you know, like when you when you lose it, and then you know you put it under your pillow, and you're all excited, and then we take it, and, you know, keep it, and I don't know. I had those little treasure boxes. It's cute. Remember those little cute treasure boxes? I I, I do. I just do. brought it up. <laughs> Did you ever pay me for my teeth, by the way? Okay. Kids today how make much, out like How much? Bandits. How much? How much? How uh, much? You know, it would depend, I guess. Depend on what? The size of the tooth? <laughs> Just good tooth. <laughs> She's like, that's a mole. That's about three bucks. Well, you're young. You get away with a quarter, and then it's like, oh, let me take that and put the, or a dollar, you know. 
<laughs> yeah, but we made a mistake once of yeah. giving Miles five dollars. Also, Frankie said that uh, his mom has his foreskin. No, hold on, I I misspoke. That, I misspoke. Mom, mom, yes, he did. He said that. <laughs> I doubt it. Mom, say it live on the air right now that Nancy is disgusting for doing that. <laughs> I'll say it. <laughs> I don't think she has it. It's a joke. Liz, Liz, I ex I tried explaining to Joey that like when you become a parent, you do things that are stupid and irrational, but you do it because it's meaningful to you. Well, you know, it's a part of your child. Everything is so important. You think about it like this. Garbage. Liz, think about so it like this. So then why'd you throw out my belly button? <laughs> well, that was, that's different. It's not some, it's, you know, something like that. You can't or like force Hold on, skin. wait, 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 wait. Hold rotten on. Fruit. Rotten fruit. Yeah. It, your mom's it, got your rotten fruit it, belly button. It hardens up. It doesn't rot. There's no mold on it. I bet it doesn't look good. It do and you ain't wrong. But Liz, you think about it like you think about it like this, like those little teeth were inside your belly at one point. Ew. No. And they also weren't. No, they weren't, really. They were in your your bouncing baby boy's mouth. Wait, oh, wait, hold on, Mom. I don't know if you know this question, the answer to this question, but when, when babies are, like, in the womb, right, mm -hmm. obviously they don't have teeth, but it, are the teeth in their, like, face? Yeah. Like, in their gums? Yeah. And then they, like, eventually come down, or do they not have teeth so. yet? Yeah, no, I think the baby, I think both sets of teeth are in there somewhere. <laughs> oh, shit. Bro, you have, like, teeth in your eyeballs when you're born. Frankie's just saying things uh, Yeah, now. that one's not true. <laughs> We're not dentists, but mom, we appreciate you so much. Um, we needed we needed a, a confirmation on why uh, parents are keeping their teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I still. But now they're all jumbled together, so I don't know whose is yours or whose strategy. So somewhere in our house, <laughs> somewhere in our house, you just have a Ziploc full of children's teeth. <laughs> you have a Ziploc of jumbled up teeth. Yeah. Oh yes! You have our dog teeth. <laughs> Mom, you got the great. dog's teeth. That's great. I didn't even know the dog's teeth came out. Well, of course they did. He died. Remember? <laughs> so, so Liz, can I ask you a question, really quick? Do you hold <laughs> Chase's teeth? Liz, Liz, Frankie wants to know if you think Chase's teeth are more important than mine. No, no, no. I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> no, 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 no. The kids come first. <laughs> Can I ask you a question, Liz? Do you store Chase's teeth in the same spot that you store the kids' teeth? I don't know. Everything's a mess. That's a yes. That's an absolute is. yes. So there's, there's just, there's teeth everywhere. There's like a, a bag of a hundred <laughs> teeth. There's photos. So if we go in the garage, there's just photos and fucking teeth everywhere. <laughs> and, and don't forget little, little clips of hair, you know. You kept our hair? Yeah, that what, one. What are you making, a potion? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> teeth and hair? The fuck is going on? <laughs> that was another one. Baby, your first haircut. Of course you keep a little clipping. Would you you swept under the the the, the woman who cut my hair and <laughs> yeah. kept it? They take a lock of your first hair. I cut it myself. <laughs> well, yeah, that's probably that's probably the other thing. You should probably cut the hair. Uh, <laughs> oh god. Okay, well oh. that's about enough. Oh. I, that's all they, I could take. Unless you, you have any other fucking secrets. <laughs> thank you so much. They'll come to me. <laughs> you got any toenails of mine down there? I don't know. So. All right, this has gone too far now. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, um, but mom, thank you. Love yes. you so love much. You. Good, good talking to you, Liz. Thanks for keeping all my stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm not throwing it out. Don't worry. When I die, you can throw it out. <laughs> throw out yeah. the indiscriminate worry, bag mom, of human mom, teeth. Mom, don't worry. When you die, we'll put a, a ziplock of teeth in the fucking. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'll put it in your coffin. You're gonna be, it'll be at your wake, it'll be under your hands, it'll be a bag of teeth. <laughs> I'll be laying there, my last breath. The teeth! Someone go get the teeth! 
I can't go without the tea. That's great. That's awesome. Someone go get the dog's teeth. Yeah. I can't go. <laughs> I only count. I only count four sets here. <laughs> All right. Well. Oh, I gotta go. You people are crazy. Oh, yeah, we're, we're crazy. crazy. <laughs> we're crazy over there with hair and teeth in your house. It's a fucking crime scene down there. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. I'll talk to you later, Ma. I love you. All right. I love you. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Frank. Wild. Well, wild. <laughs> She's got a bag of our Bro, teeth I'm telling somewhere. you, I wonder. I kind of want to know what my mom would, would say, but we can't. It's too late now. Oh my god! Yeah, no. Yeah, is, we can't. And my mom probably cool. wouldn't do well being on camera. <laughs> yeah, okay. She, well, Frank, where can they find you and your teeth? Uh, um, <laughs> F Alvarez eighty eighty five on Twitter. The Frank Alvarez on Instagram, TikTok, uh, and YouTube. So go check it out. And then make sure you go check out the Patreon. Patreon dot com slash the Basement Yard. In addition to Basement Yard on all social media accounts, uh, TikTok is blowing up. But Patreon, we get to twelve thousand. We do that drag show. So Hell yeah. Patreon dot com slash the Basement Yard. You guys can uh, follow me at Joe Santagato. Go follow the show on TikTok and Instagram at the Basement Yard. And that is all. See you guys next time. Shout out to Shania Twain. Mm-hmm.